G'day there. Well, the last seven day period, I didn't see too much come through on the New Zealand Storm Chasers Facebook group page, but there was one nice illuminated thunderstorm. It was a little distant, but it was uh, quite nice because there was another special feature involved with those photos, uh, mainly uh, Grant Burley. Uh, thank you very much for sending your photos in. It was of a thunderstorm sort of off the eastern side of Northland uh, to the north northeast offshore, way up there. So a distant cloud, a cumulative numbers cloud, illuminated there by some lightning. But the uh, second feature was some bioluminescence, I believe that's how you pronounce it, which is basically like uh, glowing algae <laughs> in the wave, uh, in the surf of the um, you know waves coming on shore uh, onto a beach. Something along those lines. Uh, quite a cool feature, you know, to get both of those things in a photograph like that. Very cool. And Jason Chen, you got that thunderstorm as well. Let's uh, go forward, shall we not? Because that's what we usually do. There are some good thunderstorm opportunities coming up. This is the map for today. And we've got this front there bearing down onto New Zealand. Low pressure system uh, there over the South Island. The main opportunity I'm seeing here... Uh, mind you, this video is probably coming out this evening, so uh, things could have happened by now. Uh, would have been about the Upper North Island. There is a bit of instability in this front as it moves through. Could be a bit of lightning. I don't think the risk is that that great, but uh, some wet weather for sure. And a bit of rain there about the top of the South Island and the Lower South Island. There we go. On to Monday. By the way, the Upper North Island quite humid today also. Uh, but uh, tomorrow, Monday, the humidity sort of goes away for a time. But then it comes back with a vengeance on Tuesday... Uh, and uh, Wednesday before it pushes off again. So this is uh, tomorrow's map Monday. Over New Zealand it is relatively calm. There is a few isolated showers there though, about the east and south island, mainly uh, southern South Canterbury, north Otago, that's where the potential for isolated showers is greatest. And there is an instability factor here. I don't think there'll be any thunderstorms, but uh, there could be some nice clouds build up over the hills there into the afternoon. Then there's this wee low pressure system out there in the Tasman Sea. I like the look of that low. And there is something looming off here to the northwest. So let's go to Tuesday. There we go. Uh, actually, sorry, this is Tuesday in the morning, 7 a.m., because that's right. We're first going to talk about this low here and the rain moving on to the west coast. That rain for the west coast, there could be a little bit of lightning or thunder associated with that. Okay, here we go. That stuff there to the northwest. Uh, let's go to the afternoon. There we go. Up in North Island. That's where some reasonable uh, humidity and moisture is going to start to come in. It's going to become very muggy, subtropical, dew points up around 19, 20 degrees. Uh, Google that if you don't know what it means. Uh, it's going to feel, yeah, quite muggy. Let's just say that. So that area of showers coming in over, the, uh, coming in over the upper North Island, that uh, humidity at the surface, it's going to be the fuel which is going to cause a lot of instability. The airflow at the surface is generally coming in from the north, and I wouldn't say there is much sort of convergence going on, but sometimes when airflows uh, flow around sort of, well, the land, uh, hills and ranges, things like that, it can sort of come and meet on the other side. Sometimes that's how you generate a bit of a convergence. And if it taps into some instability in the upper atmosphere, uh, well, yeah, heck, you could get thunderstorms, downpours, lightning, all that sort of thing. And that's something that could happen for the Upper North Island uh, on Tuesday there in the afternoon, mainly north of about uh, Auckland, the Waikato. And the instability figures are looking very high, and the winds in the upper atmosphere are looking very strong. I wouldn't be surprised if there is uh, something spinny going on. Water spout, maybe a small tornado. I won't say mini tornado to offend the uh, weather community. <laughs> but yeah, there could be something there. You never know. Uh, South Island, there was also a chance of thunderstorms. Now, in general, there's an area of low pressure over the South Island. That sort of low that was spinning into the um, West Coast. Yeah, there it is there. It sort of like mm, dissolves a little bit in some way, spreads out over the South Island like that. That rain there in the South and up the West Coast is more just rain associated with the low. But uh, just north of about uh, Otago Peninsula there into South Canterbury, those are the showers I'd be interested in. There is some instability there, those showers, they could possibly heavy in isolated areas during the afternoon, maybe a thunderstorm or two. Then we move to Wednesday where it really sort of starts to go downhill because this low pressure system there in the Tasman Sea, there's a cold front up there and that moves in uh, a lot of rough weather by the looks. Well, wet weather at least. So there's the low and there's that cold front there. A lot of instability, very high instability figures, uh, lift and index and convective available potential energy, CAPE, 
with that front as it moves through. Once again, the normally uh, the sur the winds at the surface are generally coming in from the north, so I would uh, say it would be sort of like uh, areas of land or mountain ranges, things like that. Potentially, if that wind moves around those uh, features, potentially converges, taps into some. Uh, very strong instability figures uh, combined with very strong winds in the upper atmosphere providing a lot of shear. It's like when you get a chimney and you get uh, the wind, strong winds blowing across the top of your chimney, it sort of creates a draw in the fireplace and uh, that helps sort of like clouds grow up, things like that. And uh, all those strong winds and all those things I'm talking about sort of potentially lead to another chance of sort of like something spinny happening. So like, uh, you know, you never know, like a small tornado, maybe a water spout in uh, the upper North Island on this day, Wednesday. I'll say it'll be starting up around sort of Northland, Auckland in the morning, moving into the Waikato in the afternoon, gradually graduating into Bay of Plenty, uh, Eastern Bay of Plenty, maybe this northeastern corner late afternoon into the evening. Something along those lines. Something to watch. And uh, the South Island, you miss out. No thunderstorms for you. Maybe a little bit of wet weather, maybe a little bit of wet weather up here, uh, down here, a little bit dry. But it looks like it'll be cloudy here in the east, I'd say. Wind's coming in like that. South Westland is the place to be. Usually for New Zealand, if there's crap weather everywhere, <laughs> South Westland is the place to be. If there's crap weather uh, in South Westland, everywhere else doesn't look too bad. Then we move all the way out to Sunday when our next possibility arises. Okay, these showers here, they look fairly innocuous. Doesn't look like too much is happening with them. There is a bit of instability in the atmosphere though, but the first third, it's not looking terribly stable. That's why this model hasn't pegged these showers to grow very big. Sometimes the models undercook the surface temperature and moisture, so yeah, it can lead to a little bit more instability, therefore something could actually happen with these showers. Something to watch anyway. It is a week out though, so yeah. But uh, yeah, something to watch on those showers maybe. Bit of instability there. Then we've got a front moving onto the South Island, some heavy rain there for the West Coast. Maybe a thunderstorm or two or there. Uh, maybe a thunderstorm or two there for uh, South Westland. Strong northwesterly winds firing into the uh, west coast. Orographic uplift, the usual story. Uh, maybe a thunderstorm or two. Okay, lots to look forward to this week, I think. Unless you get struck by a tornado, then you're not really going to be looking forward to that, are you? Okay, we'll catch you again next weekend. Cheers.